Welcome to the dark and dangerous world of the Mafia, where loyalty is everything and power is gained through violence and intimidation. If you're a fan of the gritty underworld of organized crime and looking for some immersive gameplay, then you've come to the right place. Today, we're counting down the top 9 best Mafia gangster games for PC that will transport you to a world of corruption, betrayal, and ruthless ambition. From classic titles that have stood the test of time to newer releases that offer cutting-edge graphics and gameplay, get ready to experience the thrill of being a part of the mob like never before. So grab your fedora and Tommy gun, and let's dive into the criminal underworld together. On number 9, we have Judgment. It is a standalone open-world action game that is a spin-off of the Yakuza series and is set in the same environment, although it has a completely different cast of characters. Judgment is to Yakuza what Persona is to the Shin Megami Tensei series in many regards, therefore players won't need to have any prior knowledge of the core series. Judgment is a detective game where players assume the role of Takeyuki Yagami, a former solicitor and private detective, and shares much of the same concepts as Yakuza. Yakuza clans and low-level gangs will still be encountered by players, and the game's evolving criminal plot is among the greatest. On number 8, we have Watch Dogs. Ubisoft's Watch Dogs is an action-adventure, role-playing, stealth, and third-person shooter video game. With the help of this astonishing game, you are transported to an alternative universe and drop immediately into the made-up country of the United States, where you play as Aiden Pierce, a vigilant. You are given the duty in Watch Dogs to take on the role of the protagonist and hack into the network systems of large organizations that store all of the information about human online behavior on their massive servers. You gain access to the networks with the aid of the Watch Dogs hacking group, and over time you learn that your niece's death and the deaths of many other people were caused by megacorporations and other powerful individuals. Your determination to destroy multinational corporations and all other enemies of humanity is strengthened by this information. With your hacking skills, you declare war on them and carry out the game's suggested actions. You may play Watch Dogs in an open world with thrilling and action-packed gameplay, a brilliant plot, and as much enjoyment as you can get out of it. If you haven't played it yet, do it now. On number 7, we have Red Dead Redemption 2. A Western-themed action-adventure video game, Red Dead Redemption 2 was created and released by Rockstar Games. It was launched on November 5, 2019 for PC, and it is the third installment in the Red Dead series and a precursor to Red Dead Redemption from 2010. Red Dead Redemption 2 centers on the life of Arthur Morgan and his position in the infamous Vander Lind gang and is set in a fictional version of the American Old West in 1899. The gang is followed by law enforcement, other gangs, and Pinkerton operatives as the game tracks their demise. In addition to Morgan, the story centers on the personalities of Dutch Vander Lind, John Marston, and Micah Bell. As the player advances through the story, they can explore the five American areas that make up Red Dead Redemption 2's open world which can be viewed from both the first-person and third-person perspectives. Players can engage with the game environment as Arthur Morgan in a variety of ways, such as through plot objectives, side quests, challenges, randomized events, and hunting. Returning from the previous game, the honor system adjusts based on the player's interactions with non-player characters. Moving to number 6, we have GTA V. The video game Grand Theft Auto V was created by Rockstar North and is also known as Grand Theft Auto V is the fifth game in the Grand Theft Auto HD universe and the 15th installment in the Grand Theft Auto series. Former bank robber Michael Townley and his family have moved to Los Santos under a new alias nine years after a botched heist in the made-up town of Ludendorff, North Yankton. Before meeting Franklin Clinton, a criminal looking to advance in the underbelly of Los Santos and unintentionally running across Trevor Phillips, the only other survivor of the bank robbery in Ludendorff, Michael is leading a routine but uninteresting life. The three get together to complete a daring mission to rob the Union Depository and take away gold valued at tens of millions of dollars. Unfortunately, the trio encounters multiple conflicts with competing gangs as well as being exploited by dishonest feds, who use the three to further their purpose. On number 5, we have Hitman 3. The stealth video game Hitman 3 was created and released in 2021 by IO Interactive. The eighth main Hitman series chapter and third and last game in the World of Assassination trilogy, Hitman 2, the sequel is a 2018 video game. The single-player plotline follows Assassin Agent 47 and his accomplices as they seek out the leaders of the covert organization Providence, which oversees the world's politics and was partially responsible for 47's creation and training. This storyline concludes the plot arc begun in Hitman. A third-person viewpoint is used to portray the game with an emphasis on the environment's interactive features. The game has six levels, five of which are sizable open-ended sandpit levels, the same as the other games in the series. 
Agent 47 is allowed to roam each map and look for potential targets for murder. Within each mission, the player can perform tasks to acquire additional items. Players once again take control of Assassin Agent 47 in Hitman 3, which is a stealth game to play from a third-person perspective like its predecessors. On number 4, we have Max Payne 3. A third-person shooter video game called Max Payne 3 was created and released in 2012 by Rockstar Software. The third-person view is used to play the game. In the single-player mode, players take control of retired NYPD investigator Max Payne. Max gets work as a private security contractor in Sao Paulo, Brazil, nine years after the events of the second game, but finds himself involved in a dangerous mission full of treachery and death. The game also comes with an online multiplayer option that supports up to 16 players and recreates a variety of single-player environments for cooperative and competitive gameplay. The creators spent time in Sao Paulo during production gathering information for the game's location and filming footage for the design team. Many Rockstar Studios throughout the world collaborated on the development of the game. At the time of its release, Max Payne 3 garnered overwhelmingly positive reviews from critics, who praised its story, action, and themes while criticizing the game's stylistic shift from its predecessors, linear design, and portrayal of Sao Paulo. On number 3, we have Godfather 2. An action-adventure game The Godfather 2 was created by EA Redwood Shores and released by Electronic Arts. It was made available for Windows by Microsoft. The Godfather Part 2, based on the 1974 movie of the same name, is the follow-up to the 2006 video game of the same name, which was based on the 1972 movie of the same name. The Godfather 2, like the first game, centers on a non-canon figure named Dominic, who at first serves as Aldo Trapani's underboss and protege. Dominic is given control of the Corleone family's activities in New York City when Aldo is slain, and he is given the mission of growing the Corleone Empire by eliminating their rivals. The plot covers Miami and Havana, unlike the first game, which was mostly centered in New York. The Godfather 2, like its predecessor, delivers a unique tale that frequently crosses paths with the movie's plot. The game, however, alters the story of the movie more than the first game did because it omits all information related to Vito Corleone's ascent and presents the film's events in a different chronological order. On number 2, we have Blood and Truth. It is a first-person shooter that was made specifically for PlayStation VR and released in 2019. The gameplay mechanics of this on-rails cinematic shooter couldn't be more dissimilar from those of the Mafia series. Fans of narrative-driven games with plots that contain twists and betrayals similar to those in the Mafia series will likely enjoy the fact that the story is about a London gangster in the style of a Guy Ritchie film or the TV series Gangs of London. Blood and Truth's action is as near as players will ever get to starring their own action-slash-gangster movie despite the cockney geezer tropes and banter getting a little tiresome. And finally, on number one, we have Yakuza, Like a Dragon. The eighth core installment in the story Japanese crime series, which will be released in 2020. With a brand new protagonist and the start of a fresh story arc, Like a Dragon allows new players to easily begin playing the series. Also, the game uses a turn-based combat system that is evocative of vintage JRPGs from the 1980s and 1990s. The most recent game in the series can blend a dramatic plot with amusing side quests in a way that seems wonderfully balanced. And there you have it, folks. Top 9 Mafia Gangster Games for PC will transport you straight into the gritty and dangerous underworld of organized crime, so whether you're a die-hard fan of the genre or just looking to immerse yourself in a world of power, money, and danger, these games are sure to satisfy your cravings. Thanks for tuning in and happy gaming!